What's up, everyone? This is Strong Bro, Big Ronnie here. I'm here with one and only Big J is in the house with a beautiful beard and nice hair. And... <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Jay? Hey, man, you got to look pretty to pull 600 kilos. Huh? You got to look pretty to pull 600 kilos. <laughs> Oh man, that's impressive. Six hundred kids. Yeah, this is a really, really impressive actually. Yeah, I saw you you lifted it a little bit, right? You 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 moved it to the Yeah, got up about it got up two, three inches. I saw, yeah, I saw that. And then I started it started pulling me back. Uh yeah, it's 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 six hundred. I, I, I don't know if somebody lifted six hundred before. <laughs> yeah, me neither. That's yeah, I never, I never. Seen That's a big. Like yeah, it is, it is. But hey, today we are here to talk about Arnold Ohio Strongman, which is I'm very, very excited about that big J. You know, you know the the return of the the one and only Thor. You know, Martins. Um, you know, it, I'm I'm very excited to see this. You know, these two guys that I. You know that I have a lot of respect, and obviously, you know, other athletes, uh, athletes too. You know, Tom Stoneman. We have five world strongest men. You know, who's gonna go head to head uh, Arnold Ohio this year? So, um, what what do you think about? Tell me a little bit about the return of Thor <laughs> and the Martins. Well, Thor looks good. It looks good. He yeah. looks big. His good. I mean, his deadlift is all the way back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, Martins, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I have not been impressed with his training. Yeah, physically or mentally, I don't think he looks good. <laughs> nah, I guess we'll see. We'll see, Martins. We'll you know, see. He has I mean, no. He, uh, well, he he peaks well for shows, but he's. He seems like he doesn't fucking care. <laughs> every, uh, every bit of training he did, he was underweight and bitching about what hurts. Yeah, I see. Yeah, actually, I just finished his, uh, watching his uh, last video, you know. Yeah, I don't think he hit competition weight on any lift. No, but he hit uh, 425 kilos. He uh, did. But 25 kilos might get you fifth in this field. The thing with Martinez, well, if he takes a little bit of day off, I think one week off, he knows how to compete. I think he will. He will not. Oh, I, 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 his best. I, yeah. I agree with you completely. He knows how to compete better than anybody. Yes. But yes. his whole, his whole training just seemed to be, how can I do this and not get hurt? Not how can I do this and win? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess we we're gonna find out. Let, let, let's start about. We're gonna find start, out. Let's let's start with the deadlift. Let's start with the deadlift, and then we go through the all the athletes. Obviously, we have the legs of Thor, Martins, Novikov, Tom Stallman, Mitch Hooper, the reigning champion, uh, Bobby Thompson, Singleton, Maxime Boudreau, uh, Tom Evans, and we have the. Um, the Polish guy, uh, Alexander. Matush. Yeah, I forget. Yeah, you know the new the, the guy. The, no, the, Oscar. Huh? Yeah, Oscar or something. Yes, Oscar. Yes, there you go. Oscar, I think Zelensky, or something like that. Yeah, the guy who won the amateur Arnold yeah. amateur last year. So, yeah. um, starting starting with the deadlift. I love deadlift. You know, I love Max Deadlift J. Uh, don't get me wrong. You know, oh, everyone loves Max Deadlift. Uh, what is it? Um, and I love that bar. I love the elephant bar. I think it's a fun bar. It's a very, very fun bar. I love Max Deadlift J. Yeah, same, same. It, it's a very, very exciting event. You know, I really love that idea that they start with a Max Deadlift, you know, because... yeah. I want to see Thor. I want yeah. to see Thor. <laughs> and you know, if if there's any one event that I, I would guarantee a winner on, it's just no one is beating Thor. No, I I would have agree with you with that. Yeah, um, I don't see nobody can win this on a. Yes, uh, I think he would win with opener. <laughs> yeah, he might. He might. 
unless he wants to break his own record. Uh, you know, I think he might go for uh, for a new world. I think it depends if Mitch Hooper or somebody there will push him a little bit. But well, I think I mean, if he needs to take a third attempt, he'll try to break it. But if he doesn't need to, he won't. I would love to see him because I don't care about the what he's going to do on the other events. But I would love to see yeah. break the new world yeah. record. I mean, this is an interesting event for the whole competition, though. Yeah. Because you got a real good chance you get a guy like Bobby finishing second, and all of a sudden now you got points away from Mitch. And if you got Tom finishing fourth, then now you got more points away from Martins. Yeah. So I think we agree Evan, with actually, I mean, Evan. Evan looks fantastic. Yeah, Singleton. Oh, uh, I don't think on deadlift. Even Singleton, his deadlift is a little bit without suit. I right. Think. I think I think it is going to be what, uh, his weakness. I think the only weakness is even Singleton is a deadlift because. But I mean, he has pulled over a thousand pounds. He's not a bad deadlifter. With a suit. I agree. That's true. His... But they all, but all of them have their max lifts are with a suit. Uh, I no. mean, I mean. Bobby... Bobby Thompson, he pulled, he pulled a fine something. He won the deadlift last year, and Mitch Hooper, right, right. Uh, and the Martins pulled. But neither one pulled a thousand pounds. No. Nah? But neither one pulled a thousand. The only guy there who's pulled a thousand without a suit is Thor. Yes, yes, but Bobby Thompson and Mitch Hooper, I think they close. And I would say I would put Martins there too. Um, but even Singleton, even I think even Singleton, he will lose a point. You will see. We we, we we talk about it. But I, I absolutely, I never saw him uh, deadlift over four twenty kilos, like nine uh, forty or something. Roll, roll. I'm talking about like without two. Yeah. Even yeah. Singleton. So he didn't show anything. He's he did nine hundred. Yeah, which is filled okay. Um, but um, once I th I think that the only event I see Singleton, he will lose that bit of points, will be his deadlift. He has a good deadlift, you know, just has some people can but I mean, yeah. pull more than him. I think depending on what day they have, yeah, I think Evan is right there with Tom and Martin. So I think they're all going to get low, under 950. I think all three of them get under 950. I, uh, yes, yes. So who, so who, who do you think is going to win the deadlift? Oh, Thor wins, and then it's between Bobby and Mitch for second and third. Yes, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see Tom. I, I you know, I would love to see. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious how, how much can Tom pull, you know. On that. See, Tom's another one, though. He gets so much out of his suit. Yeah, yeah yes. Yeah. But that... the big thing, the big thing that the deadlift is going to have is that there are bad deadlifters. Yeah, Mateusz could fall eighth and get <laughs> that's big points for him. Yeah, but if the, he can get three of those guys finishing behind him, that, that's big points for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I think Mateusz can beat Maxim for sure. He can beat the, yeah. the Oscar, you know. On, on, um... uh, uh, who's the other one? Tom? Uh, uh, the other Tom? Yeah, Tom Evans. Tom Evans. Uh, he pulled nine hundred last year, so it's kind of. Um, I think I think right. Tom. It's close. Yeah. But again, it's, it's, it's he could. He could, yep. Yeah, I think he I mean, 400 kilos on the gym. Yeah, for guys like that, it's going to be about selection. Shit, he might even be able to beat Alexi. Yeah. I mean, if he can get seventh, that oh, is not oh, Everyone is in trouble. <laughs> Everyone's in trouble if he gets seventh. Ah uh, yeah, I absolutely agree with you. If he if he gets seven or six or whatever, even seven. Oh, days, if he gets six, the competition's over. He won. No, he won. He's, he's probably going to win three other events. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yep. Now uh, he's 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 absolute. He's good in Arnold. If you know, if he, they instead of like did it, they give him a truck pool or something like that. Yeah. We're gonna do. Oh my god! Oh, if it was a truck pool, he would win by ten points. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. A squat, I think he would do really well. Yes, yes, yeah. I, I love that guy, man. I would love to, you know, I would love to see him win Arnold. Uh, don't you know? I really love that guy, uh, Matias Kiriskov. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Like, he he's been through a lot of, you know, a lot of injuries, surgeries, and stuff like that. So, 
I would love to see him win the, the competition, which is going to be very hard. But oh, really, it depends. You know, it depends on his deadlift. Everything. If I if I'm yeah. his coach, if I'm him, I will I, train your deadlift all the time. Train your deadlift. Find. Oh. I don't know. He I mean, so many competitions this, because, of because of this. This field might actually help him out because you're going to have. Yeah. You know, Thor, Martin, Mitch, and Tom all taking points from each other. Yes. It's not going to be Thor finishes second in all the events that Martin, that Matush wins. And yeah. now all of a sudden that he can't beat him because he had one bad event. Yeah. 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 yeah it, 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 people, people like uh, Maxime Boudreau, you know, can help him on the frame, you know. Between, right. Uh, you know, like, you know, between uh, uh, Mitch Hooper, between, you know, like right. Martins, you know, he can help him, you know, for. For winning, you know, I, I would love to, to see him win. Uh, uh, I don't know, but it's gonna be it's exciting, man. It's There's so happen. many great athletes, so many talented athletes. So many, there. yep. It's really hard to, to predict this one actually because you know, uh, five world's longest man. I and, mean, even Singleton, he doesn't have a weakness. <laughs> and, and not only, I mean, I mean, we'll get to it later, but not only is the field so strong, but no one has done Denny Stones in competition. You have nothing to work with here. I have no idea what's going to happen there. No idea, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we don't know. I I, I have a feeling uh, Kieliszkowski and uh, Singleton will be like that. You would think because they're so fast, but it's just but it's still going to come down to how much pain they're willing to take on yes. themselves. Yeah, that's right. I, I agree. So moving to the – so mm -hmm. so the first event is going to be between, I think, Thor for the Delhi and um, um, Bobby Thompson – and the Mitch Hooper and maybe Martins. Yep. That's what I think. And it, I mean, this is big for Martins because yes. he needs to be he needs to beat Tom and Evan. He needs to get fourth. If he gets sixth, he's in trouble. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, I, I think I think I think Martins will be um, after Bobby and uh, Mitch Hooper. He, he will be the, yeah. the fourth. I mean, sure. If he wants to win, he needs to be. If if he's down at sixth, I don't think he can come back from that. Because I realistically don't see any events he's going to win. No. Yeah, me too. Me too. So moving moving to the next one, uh, the frame. What do you think uh, is gonna? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you can't say Mateus is not gonna win. Yeah, I agree. And he should win, but I mean, Evan looks fantastic. Yes. Nick looked great last year, except for the one drop. Oh, if he didn't drop that, I think he will win. Yep. Uh, this is always a good event for Martins. Yes. This is an event where Maxime can really screw things up for guys because <laughs> he can take second or third points. Yes. And if he gets in between Mateus and Mitch and Martins and Thor. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, if this goes Mateus, Evan, Maxime, all of a sudden, Mateus's eighth on deadlift is now fourth. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would say it's going to be between um, uh, Mitch Hooper and uh, Matthias Kieliszkowski on this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, I think this is a real dark horse event for Evan. He has looked Evan. fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. If he has a decent showing on deadlift, if he yeah. gets a fifth, he's going to be really motivated. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, yep. I if, mean, he, if he gets like an eighth or a ninth on deadlift, yeah, he's the type who may not. Yeah, absolutely. Be as he needs to be. Yes, that, that confidence. If, if he do good in the deadlift, then he will absolutely, you know, smash the, the rest of the competition because it doesn't seem like you have a – a weakness is in on, on the following and, events. This is a really big event for Thor and Tom. Yes. I mean, when Thor finished this, it was 100 kilos heavier. Yeah. So I feel like he, he, he can do it. Whereas Tom has never finished this, ever. Yeah. If Tom doesn't finish, he's not getting on the podium. Oh, oh yeah. there's going to be five. He, he looks very very good in his training. Now it's gonna come on his. Uh, it's gonna come down on his, on his frame carry for sure. You know. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see yeah. what he's gonna then do. If Thor can get top five. That's huge for him. That's huge. Yes. 
I, I think Ford, he will finish. He's not going to be the fastest, but I think he will finish. Right. right. And gener- and since the best Arnold ever has had four guys finish, if he finishes, he should be able to get a top five. Yes. Yes. And, and he that's huge. good. He, he looks good. He looks, he he looks, looks strong. Fantastic, I mean, I mean, he's like sh- a shredded 410. It's disgusting. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. And I love watching his YouTube, you know. I love watching him get stronger. I love, like, yeah. watching his, uh, you know, muscle memories, you know. He's coming back, man. I, I, I mean, he, dude, he put on more weight in a week than I've put on in three years. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put five kilos on this week. Yeah. Incredible genetic, yes. Wow, I can't wait to watch him. The, the you know the, this Friday. Um, move yeah. on to the to the next one. So with this one, obviously Kiliskovsky, right? Where I think we we agree. Yeah, yeah, Kiliskovsky is most likely gonna win unless something really weird happens. I I, th- I think if if Mitch Hooper, remember this, Jay, remember this. If Mitch Hooper hold the frame, I think he would be faster than Kiliskovsky. He, wow, that's a big statement. I think he'll be right there. And now that the event is second and not last, I think he'll have a better shot of holding and not dropping. But yeah, I think it's probably, I think it's Mateusz, Evan, yes. and Mitch in that. I think Evan is going to beat Mitch. Yes. Um, and you know what? You know, I would say it's going to be between. Uh, Mitch and Kiliskovsky and the Machiers, and then Maxim and then Evan Singleton. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough because it's throwing tough. Maxim and Evan into this really, I mean, dude, if all of a sudden you got Thor and Martins <laughs> for tough. fifth and sixth and seventh, yeah. that's points they're losing to Mitch and Mateus. Yes, yes. So Moving to the to the next day. The first day we have a deadlift, max deadlift, uh, obviously, and we have a uh, frame carry. And uh, the second day, I think they're gonna start with Axel, I believe, right? No, it's Diddy Stones. Diddy Stones. Oh, yeah, this is the it's first time. Kind of this is the first time like, I have two grip events. You know, I wish I can see yeah. something different, even the Wheel of Pain or something. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not a fan of this at all. Yeah, just yeah. because it's so, it's so weird. It's like the yeah. rock throw last year. Oh, it's, it's like, dude. <laughs> it's like, come on, bro. It's yeah. like nobody can really practice it. Yeah, it's just gonna come down to like the rock throw was who got lucky and got the technique. Now it's whose thumbs can take the most pain. Yes, yes. So who 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 who's your 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 pick on this? It's hard. I mean, it's very, very hard. I would say Mateusz is probably the favorite because he's got a great grip and he's fast. Yes. And he's always in pain anyway, so he can probably yeah. man it out. Excuse me. Okay. But uh, after that, I mean, Mitch is good at everything, so Mitch should be good. His his coach is the best in the world at it, so yes, yeah. you would think he learned something from Laws. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think an event like this should help guys like uh, Thor and Tom, whose hands are huge and strides are long, that they got to take less steps to go more distance. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, 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 when I was watching like Tom Stoneman, he, he 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 seems like he's very determined. You know what I mean for this show. He yeah. he really wanted. He you know he can handle yeah. the pain. It's, it's different. Tom, we, we had like a, a few years ago. You know, yeah, like, he's really he's really understanding that to be taken seriously, he has yeah. to win something other than worlds. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He wants. He Arnold. wants the credit he deserves. He has to win the Arnold. He has to win the Rogue. He can't just win Worlds. Exactly. I think. I think we're gonna see. Uh, I think we're gonna see a big Tommy. Is you know is gonna. I just, don't tell, I just don't think these are great events for him. I mean, I don't think it's even so much a matter that he's not prepared. It's yeah. that who's there. World's strongest man is always 
always going to favor the tall guy. All yeah. of their events favor tall guys. Yeah. Arnold doesn't. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, but this. So, so who do you think? Who do who, who you pick? It's it's hard. It's it's very very hard actually to. It's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, if if I was right on the first two events, if Evan can get like a fifth or a sixth and a second or a third. I don't think there's any amount of pain he can't take to win. Yes, absolutely. I think he will balls his way past everybody if he thinks he's got a shot at winning this show. Yes. Now, if he doesn't do well those first mm -hmm. two events, then no, he's not going to risk breaking his thumbs. Yeah. But yeah. I think if he does well the first two events, and I think he will, I oh, would yeah. not be shocked at all if he won this because he can take more pain than everyone else. I, I would have to agree because... He doesn't have a really a weakness on this uh, competition, uh, other than he, he just need to do a good on deadlift. You know, be that be on the top five. You know, on the deadlift. Yeah, exactly. And get five on deadlift, and then two or three on. I think he's gonna balls his way to win this. Yeah. Yes. If not, I would say probably Matush. I would say Evan Matush, Mitch, and Thor are my top four on this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know Tom Evans. Tom Evans, he looks good too. You know, on this, on this event, Martins obviously. Oh man, this one. <laughs> yeah, and Tom, Tom has never been great with grip. Yeah. And I heard a lot saying that for guys like Tom and Thor, their hands might even be too big for those small rings. No, I'm talking about that yeah. will hurt them. Yeah, I think it, it's gonna. It's not about grip. I think it's it's more pain. You know, it's gonna how much you can how yeah, much sure. you can handle. And it's getting the balance right. Yeah, it's that you have to have the heavy stone on your lead foot, and that always has to go first. And then you shuffle the back leg. Yeah, with the lighter stone. That is that it's about pain and balance. Yeah, because you're only allowed one drop. Anything wrong happens. And yeah. like Lost says, they're still so heavy, man. You drop them once, you're not going to pick it up and pick right up going again. It's not a farm table. So, like, w where are you going to put Martins on this one? I mean, I'm, he did not look good in training. His yeah. last, last big thinny carry. He just completely muffled it up. But it's that he has been so, the last three years, but really more and more, he is so bought into this squat university nonsense that he's afraid everything he does is going to get him hurt. Yeah. I don't think he had the mentality to push through the pain that the other guys do right now. I yeah. don't think he's going to do it. I was I was watching the you know the, the the podcast he did with Big Loss. He said like he's the you know the, the you know the, the strongest have ever been you know like well, in some events you know like I mean, he's, yes. he's in his prime. He should be getting stronger every year. It shouldn't be a big big news that yeah I'm yeah. stronger than I was three years ago. That's what training is for. It's to get you stronger than you were three years ago. Yeah, but you, you know. I, I, think he, he, I think he's going to show up on the competition day. I think he has that mentality of the competition. Martin yeah. is the guy, one of the guys, you know, who doesn't really perform good in the gym, you know. I think Martins, he will show up. Right. I, mean, I, I agree. And I, I think he was one of those guys. He has to show me he still is. Yeah. I did not take his – I did not like his – I mean, normally even in the gym. He is so confident in, in everything. Yeah. And this prep, he's just been like, eh, I didn't get it. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you know, I could have gone heavier, but I'd rather move this faster than heavier. Yeah. It's not a speed It's not a speed deadlift, bro. That's not how elephant bar works among all of them. Yes, yes. He's more concerned with, I mean, he just kept everything so light. He seems so afraid of getting hurt. I don't think he's. I don't think he's mentally checked in. I really don't. I guess we're going to find out. Let's move on to the next well, one. I guess. He's always been fantastic at shows, and you know I love Martins. 
<laughs> but he just I was so disappointed watching his training. Yeah. Yeah, but um mm, mm. He, he brings it on game day better than anybody. Yes. He always has. That's I mean I mean I hope he proves me wrong. I hope he just shows up in his martinis. Yeah. <laughs> but we're coming to that we're coming to the thing. To the predictions. So, who do you think will will win the uh, Axel? Clean and press. The Axel they have four hundred pounds, something like that. I mean, Mitch's split jerk. He's treating four hundred pounds like a toy. Wow. What I don't person. know how he learned that so fast. Yeah, but he's treating four hundred like a toy. Yes. If his clean is smooth, he wins this by however many reps he wants to. So, do you think he will beat Tom? I think he'll beat Tom. Tom Stoltman? Yes, I think he beats Tom Stoltman. I think Tom Stoltman is a great light presser. As the weights get heavier, he gets worse. He, he, he was before. great at the road with a close. Now we're going to like 185. I think that's a big difference for him. Yeah, I, I think uh, Mitch Hooper, he was he was very, very smart on changing his technique so to save more yeah. of his biceps and to, to use the split jack. You know, this is, this is very, learned it so very smart. fast. Yes, this is very I smart. I can't believe how fast yeah. he learned that. Yeah. You know, uh, I would have to agree with you. I think this one, um, it's going to be between Tom Martins and Mitch Hooper, I think. Yeah, I mean... I don't think Martins touched 400 all training. I don't. I don't have confidence he's going to get three reps. Uh, I, I no, he did. I, I watched one of his video. He said okay. he was 400. Yes, with 400, I think he did a three. Okay, okay. I saw him go to 385, and I guess I missed the last one at 400. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, he, I watched one of his video. He did 400. He did three. He said, I mean, I can't. I mean, he's he's going to benefit because his his clean technique is fantastic. Yes. And he knows how to pace himself. Yeah, uh, Kiloskovsky. I th I still think his pressing is not there yet. You know, I, I really don't think. And 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 he's another one like he's another one like Tom, that I think he excels at doing lighter weights fast. Like when he viper presses all the locks. I don't think he excels when the weights get near maximum. Yeah, he's not he's not there yet, you know. He's coming back, but yeah. he's pressing. He's not there yet. Um, and then the real yeah. the real wild card for me is Bobby, because he is not good at cleaning an axle, but he's the best presser in the field. Yeah. So but, I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, I mean, if Bobby, he did five, I would. Yeah, Bobby two, I would be shocked. But not for reps. I I don't think Bobby he would be an in the mix on this one. I, I really don't think Bobby because yeah, I mean he's very, very strong, but when it comes to the reps, uh, I mean it's I'm talking about Mitch Hooper, you know, uh, I'm talking about uh, Tom Stallman, uh Martins. Um I don't think he would beat these guys. No, no, no. But again, it's gonna be if he just has clean cleans. He can press with any of them, and for him, four hundred pounds is not a heavy press. But he would prefer a log. <laughs> he likes more logs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I yeah. mean, if this was a log, then we're having a whole different conversation with him. Exactly. And exactly. This is why I said, like uh, Axel, Bobby. I would say three. He would do max three, three reps. He's not going to yeah. do yeah. that. Yeah. I think yeah. maybe most of athletes they would do between two, three. And then only Mitch That's what I think. probably Martins. He can push a little bit more. And I uh, think uh, Hooper. Yeah, I think Mitchell get about five, and I think that's gonna win. I think Mitchell win with about five. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, yes. On this one, it's gonna and be then you're gonna end up with uh, Tom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got Tom and Martins are probably gonna be right there. Yes. And then it's going to come down to – there's probably going to be three or four guys that do three, and it's going to come down to how fast they do it. Yes. Yes, yes. This is why like, I was very impressed about like, Mitch Hooper, how he changed his technique just for Arnold, actually, because he knows exactly yeah. what he needs to – you know, like he needs to 
to save some energy to, to be Tom actually on this one because and, if you yes and again this is another big event for Thor yeah. while his person has been off he's still Thor he's still you know if you put 200 kilos in front of him he's going to press it yeah you know so, yeah, you, you know Thor in his prime he did uh, with 400 he did 3 I think I believe yeah yeah. And even and Thor is the one guy I would put on the same pedestal with Martins. You put him in a competition, he wins. Yeah. He does what it takes to win. He knows how to win. You know, you know, Thor, uh, we give him another year or a year or months. I think by your own invitational or even uh, I think you're he, he, he talking about maybe show classic actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think he would be ready by the And, by and the those are things. I mean, I honestly think Brian, much like he stacked the events last year so he would win, he has stacked these events to get Thor to show up. These are all events that Thor is like, <laughs> I'm really good at this. We think exactly the same. Yes. Yeah, Every event that I saw, Thor has got to be looking like, yeah, I'm really good at that. <laughs> uh, he he commented actually in his video, in Brian Show video, Thor. So I said, yeah, he got you, man. But the, the goal yeah. was, yes, there was Thor compete a show classic. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah, I, I, can, I, I think by, I think oh, in August, I, I I believe Thor he would be back you know, at least 80, 90 percent. Yeah, yeah. And I think that I mean if you're talking 2018 Thor, 90 percent of that is still the best strong man in the world. Yes. But but I believe uh Rog uh, Thor will win the Rogue Invitational. He's coming for I mean, he would be ready. So this is I mean this is a big event for him. Yeah. Because realistically a 400 pound axle, that's a body weight press. Yes, yes, yes. He should be able to do two or three. He should yeah. be able to get top five. Oh, no. If he problem. gets top five, I mean, I mean, if he gets top five on in this, I think he's still right in play. You, you know, for his, even right now, he's very, very strong. He just um, taking easy. He don't want to rush it a lot. Because he's scared of yeah. injury, he knows he just want to come back compete again. But he will have the that, right for Rogue invitation. That, that switch is going to turn is going to get turned off once it's a, a, once it's competition. Yes, when he's actually playing for marbles, he can't. He's just not going to have it in him to hold back. Yeah. No. And uh, so it's going to be between uh, for Axel and Pace. It's going to be between Mitch, Tom. Martinez, right? I think it's going to... I think... I think Mitch wins. I'm not even going to qualify it. Mitch <laughs> will win. Yes. And then I think second is between Tom and Martins. And depending, again, how motivated Evan is, he's he's a good presser. If he's still motivated, if he's still in the competition, I think he'll do well at this, especially if it comes down to speed. Because yeah. I think he'll get the two or three reps real fast. Whether he can get past that, I don't know. And it depends on what what Thor brings. Thor could do two. Thor could do four. Uh, on this competition, I don't think Thor. Thor, Thor, you know, you know, I believe Thor. If he can, if he do one rep, one rep on Axel would be fantastic for him. Would, would be a win for for Thor. He seems like his but, presence is very very. Hall right now. Yeah, but I don't think he'll see it that way. I think he's he's playing to win. I think he's going to get at least two, maybe, I think he'll get two or three at least. I would say one, probably two max. He's not going to pass two. Because, because I think that the pressing strength is there. He just hasn't had the will to yeah. push it. Yeah. I think if he's sitting there in the top three going into this event, which I think is where he'll be, he's going to be like, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you, he's not going to think anymore. It's not going to be, okay, I'm just going to do one and call it. It's going to be, I'm going to push it till I break. 
The problem is on this event, there's a lot of good athletes can push him on this one. I think Maxime Boudreau can push him in this one. I think he's a good presser. He just doesn't – his clean is not there yet, but he's a very yeah. good presser. Bobby Thompson is a very good presser. Even Singleton, he's, he's a decent I, presser. I agree, man. I think it's uh, – Novikov. We, we, we didn't talk about Novikov today. Well, we haven't talked about Novikov at all. Yeah, he's <laughs> – I mean, there's a reason he wins all these other shows. Exactly, exactly. No, no, because he's a good and actually, I think, keen and press. And he, he looks like he's a lot thicker than he used to be. Yes, yes. He, he's, he looks very, very strong. He looks very good. But I don't think this event suits him good, you know. Uh, no, but it could be enough to take points away from a guy like Thor. Yes, yes. Like Axel. You know? That's why I said this is a big event for Thor. Thor needs to get top oh. five. Yes, he needs it. If you want to be on the podium, he needs this event. This event will yeah, cost him yeah. a lot of points. I mean, he knows, he mentioned this, you know, he said, my president is not there yet. We all know, you know, unfortunately, right. it takes a lot of time. You know, but, when you have surgery. Yeah, but, but also, as you know, Brent is still there. His yeah. pressing isn't there in training because he's not pushing himself because yeah. he's coming back. Yes. You know, what the lights are on and the competition's there, that all goes away. You know he can still oh, press. Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely. He can still press 210 kilos if it was a max. Yes. So I, so 400 for three, I don't think is out of the question at all. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, move on for the last event, which is, I think, the stone midley. I think they have one stone press, one to the to load, and one to the shoulder, right, for max range. Yeah, I mean, obviously we all know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, think is the, is I mean, the king of the stones. This is my second most confident pick, outside yeah. of Thor winning the deadlift. It's Matej wins the stones. Those the stones. I I have agree with you. I will have I agree with you. Martins, he will be right. Martins there. will get second. He'll yes, get second. second. He yes. he's he I I think his uh, strength unknown has taught him so much about natural stones. Yes. That uh, that I, I would even say there's a better chance that he beats McCage than anyone else beats him for second. Yes. Yes. That I think this is the clearest one two that it is yeah. Mateusz than Martins. And this is an event I think Mitch could lose a lot of points on. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I, I, I would not be yeah. shocked if he could not shoulder one stone. You know, uh, yeah, I, I think the same way, but uh, it's Mitch Hooper, man. This guy, he's just... Yeah. I know it. He knows how but, to find, you know, way to... I don't know. He, he in the works, Mitch, he's also does the vast majority of his training in a yeah. commercial gym. I did not see a 400-pound natural stone that he was lifting. Yeah, no, I didn't see that too. I don't know. I mean, I I mean we know he trained that. Thor has done this in the past, and we know oh, he's yeah. a really good stone lifter. I'm not convinced Tom can lift anything but an Atmos stone. 